Well, the other day I talked about this being at the swimming pool, and as usual, I didn't finish my sentence or my conversation like, you know, normal people, you know, have the way of flowing with their language where it just spills out. And it, I left off the words that that's the slide that goes outside of the building, makes this little loopity loop and goes back into the building. It's not that the pool is outside at the OC. So I come back here to the back of the building to look at something, and I want you to look. They got a... a a window missing and so I come over here and I want to see this tornado shelter thing and this is where I'm standing oh I got something else down there I want to show you they got some new poles in as I go down that way I'll show you but look this is says that this will be the doors these doors are to remain locked except for a tornado warning or what is that word I don't know. Authorized entrance prohibited. Violators will be prosecuted. <laughs> okay. Now, if you misinterpret that, that means don't come over here and try to jack it with these damn drawer, drawer, doors or you're going to get your ass in jail. <laughs> I don't care if it's a tornado warning and this is locked because <laughs> Laura and I came over here one time during the tornado warning and it was locked. <laughs> I mean, standing up in this room right here, this little building is, is, is safe, but um, yeah, it's a mystery. I might ought to get the management to give me a walkthrough of the procedures for the tornado shelter at the OC. I think they got another door over here. Let's look at it. Yeah, see, there's a sign. Let me see down here. It's kind of even more secure than the other place. You got a wall behind you, in front of you, and they got the same kind of doors. You know me, I'm going to check the locks. That's just what I do. I guess if you need it to charge your, your cell phone, you, you got an outlet right there. Okay, now let me show you about these posts. A tornado shelter. All right, need a lot more information on that. Future video thoughts, leave comments, suggestions. <laughs> what should we do next time the tornado warning goes off? Should we all beat a path over here to see if they open the door for us? Welcome us, you know, let us in, you know, taxpayer money and that kind of thing? Or should we just don't worry about it and cause no trouble? Not that I want to cause anybody any trouble. But um, look at these poles. Somebody's got to explain to me what these damn poles are. See them right there? They cut off kind of wild looking. I guess they ain't shot an elevation on them or nothing. Man, that don't make no sense. They look like they've just been planted though. I hadn't seen that sign. Talking about that little tree right there. They must have just planted it. But something is going to go out here. Something is going to happen here. I don't know. Ain't no... See, I've been getting comments and people have been leaving me messages and stuff about when I say I want to get to the bottom of it, what am I talking about? Well, evidently, the city and the county, they don't call me when they do something. And uh, if they promote it, they promote it on KY3, KSPR, or what's that one, Ozarks First. Well, they're not calling me to come out and do the report. I will do it if they call me. If they call me and, to get, and start giving me assignments, I'll take them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, somebody asked me the other day, said, well, buddy, are you trying to be an investigative reporter? No, I am. I am an investigative reporter. Been doing it for years, years. <laughs> I'm a shit stirrer from way back. <laughs> I had, look, in the Mississippi Delta, a uh, TV station, a little local, right there in Greenville. It's because of me they put the locks on the doors. <laughs> I'd walk in there and ask them questions about the stories. And it shook them up, shook them up so bad, they put one of them locks on the doors where you got to enter a code before you can even get into the building. <laughs> When I'd see them, 
they would cross the street to get away from me because they knew I was going to ask them questions that they couldn't answer. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hilarious. You, this new audience of people that I have watching me on, uh, oh, look at the creek. See, I'm off track, but I got to show you that pretty creek. Look at that. That's how high the water is from just this runoff. Okay, what I was saying was my new audience, and it's a lot of people that have um, started finding me all of a sudden because I guess uh, Google Analytics started promoting me a little bit more. I don't know. I'm still demonetized and heavily censored, and that's what I'm fixing to get to is why. Because you people don't, you, you new people, y'all really don't know me. You don't, you don't, you, ha you haven't probably looked at my videos and seen that, uh, in the weird, in the, I see, in the big scheme of things. Let me see if my bird's still there. No, this is where I shot that bird the other day. Didn't shoot him. <laughs> Didn't shoot him. I, I took a picture video of him. <laughs> I say, say I shot him. Next thing you know, the game warden from Christian County is going to be all over me. <laughs> no. But controversy. Let's get back to controversy and how long I've been doing news reporting. Um... Another thing I'm infamous for in Mississippi is shouting down Mississippi State Senator. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> ah. Okay. <laughs> Benny Thompson. For all the things I might have said to you in public with a bunch of people listening, I meant it. <laughs> so this shout-out goes to Senator... Benny Thompson, Mississippi, Greenville office. They know me. <laughs> they don't like me. <laughs> Why? I'm a personable person. I have never, ever said anything that was really not necessary to say to Benny Thompson, and usually in front of huge crowds. But uh, one of the things I, I tell Benny Thompson is, and I'm going to tell you guys, you can unlike me describe di disconnect from me unfriend me otherwise don't ever watch my videos again but i've been saying for a very long time that 9 11 was an inside job and i'm gonna say it like this bush and cheney did it i know they got a movie in the movie theater and they're talking about cheney and they're talking about all the crap they did but i'm just here to tell you straight up they did it. If they didn't do it pacifically, they did it unwillingly. In other words, they got puppet masters over them and above them and, and controlling their thoughts and their minds. Can you imagine there's entities that can control your thoughts and your mind? Well, you better hang on to your peanut butter sandwich because I'm going to tell you something. They're forcing this 5G on us because they want to make the AI even more intelligent than it already is, pushing it and pushing it a little closer to the singularity. And then people say, well, buddy, what are you talking about, the singularity? Well, the singularity is when AI becomes sentient, when it becomes consciousness, when it becomes millions of times connected to the nodes of all the smart computers around the world and it starts becoming what it what it is it becomes a singularity because it becomes self-aware i am the singularity i am the i am because i woke up to this mess and I'm telling people, they can do it themselves. We don't need any system that you see outside of you is in you. The, the, inner, the inner web. What, what they have outside going up is 5G is what I have modifying and crystallizing and therefore upgraded my DNA structure along the same fiber optic lines in crystalline form within this body human structure so as i speak life to my atoms my cells my dna i become what i say i am that's what they're doing 
with this hologram of reality of the matrix of the world that you see outside of yourself neo i'm waking up neo how do you tell other people to wake up you don't buddy you just leave them alone let them be that's what got you in trouble in youtube in the first place am i talking to myself in the set and this and the plural <laughs> you know what life is too fun to not want to understand conspiracy theories life is too fun not to want to think for yourself life is too precious to believe the lies that we've been told about this world who we are where we come from what year it is yeah we've we're, they gave us calendars they tripped us up we don't even know what year it is we don't even know when jesus birthday was we don't know when he came the questions are multiplicable nobody has all the answers but the understanding and the breaking of the code of the matrix is happening through 5g and singularity you mark my words on it i was right about 9 11 being an inside job i was right about shouting out benny thompson whether he went back and tattletailed on me i don't know but i'm telling you there's more to the subject than meets the eye hey how's it going great yourself yeah man How's it going? Good, how are you? He's a rather big dog. Yes, he is. Hey, baby. Come on. Kind of gun shy. <laughs> I didn't want to necessarily film them people walking by me, so I just turned the camera off myself and kind of quit talking so loud so they wouldn't hear me. All right. I rambled on enough to really confuse you. So stay tuned for the next video, and I'll see if I can web all this internet webbing 5g connecting singularity computer modeling of the entire matrix